Local chefs are really starting to dominate the cookbook market, a whole bunch of them too. Now the chef and co-owner of a beloved Russian restaurant is gearing up to release a book. Cassie Quinn is in Southeast Portland at Kochka. Cassie. Yes, Brian, the new cookbook is called Kochka, A Return to Russian Cooking. It comes out in a couple months on November 14th, but now you can pre-order it right now. And I just went on Amazon, which is one of the places you can find it, and it says the number one selling in Russian cookbooks right now. So congratulations so far. This is Bonnie Morales, chef and co-owner. So congratulations so far. Thank you. These, these are some of the items that people can actually make. You serve these to your guests here at Kochka, but people can learn how to make them in the cookbook? Absolutely. We wanted to try to stick as close to what we do at the restaurant as we could um, within the uh, abilities of a home kitchen. Um, so we don't really doctor the recipes specifically for home use. Um, and so, yes, you absolutely can. Um, and these are just a few. We have about um, 125 plus recipes in there. Yeah, I heard there's almost 400 pages. Yep, that's right. Yeah. How long has it taken you to write 400 pages of recipes? It's been almost actually a little over three years, so it's definitely been very exciting to see it start to come to fruition. So what are these things that you have put on the counter here? So these are Siberian pilmeni, uh, which are a type of dumpling with meat inside, and then uh, herring under a fur coat, which is a very famous, classic, uh, built Russian salad um, that uh, people know us here at Kochka for. Uh, rabbit in a clay pot, which is a rabbit hindquarter that's braised with uh, garlic, porcini, uh, sour cherries, and uh, sort of a sour cream base for the sauce. And they're served with these draniki, which is a type of uh, potato pancake. Um, and shakladna kolbasa, which is a, sort of a no-bake fudgy cookie. Um, really easy one to use little leftover cookie scraps for. Now you guys, you obviously have grown up with Russian food, with the Russian culture. How has it changed when you're trying to take recipes instead of, you know, making them in a restaurant, teaching chefs, but teaching people who will just be reading this cookbook at home? You know, um, uh, my co-author Dina Pritchup is amazing at that. Uh, she's really taught me to think about is every single step really truly necessary um, if you're just making it at home and when to sort of uh, bring out those big guns and when to simplify. Um, and that's one of the things we think about. And then also, you know, if I say something like saute for 10 minutes, she'll ask me, you know, well, what else are you looking for in those 10 minutes? Is there a color or a, a, a texture or something? And so um, those sort of details and writing a recipe become really, really important and is something that um, I have learned and honed to think about in writing the book. Well, again, congratulations. November 14th, right? Yes, correct. Excellent. And people can pre-order it. It's kochkacookbook.com. Gives you the link to everywhere. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, again, congratulations. All this food, it smells delicious. We'll have to eat it, you know, once you take the camera off us, Brian. But November 14th, Kachka, a return to Russian cooking, comes out. Thank you guys so much. Back to you, Brian. Kachka.